120 hertz gaming on a MacBook. Now I bet those are two things you never expected to be in the same sentence, but with the release of the new M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBooks, it is now a reality. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys just how good the experience is. Now, before we get into the video, guys, yes, I know it's a Mac. It's not gonna be very good at gaming. Also, don't forget, this is a brand new operating system. We've just updated to macOS Monterey about four hours ago. And this is, as you can tell, a brand new MacBook design as well with a brand new chip. This is obviously the base model 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook. But regardless, we're still gonna test this bad boy out, starting with CSGO, and we're gonna see just how good the experience can be. Now, just to show you that this is in fact compatible with ProMotion, we'll come down here to displays, and as you can see there, the refresh rate, we have ProMotion as an option. Now, quick note as well, guys, Unfortunately, this overhead camera can't do 60 FPS, but it shouldn't be a massive deal because we're gonna be looking at about 100 to 120 FPS. And even if I could record the video in 60 FPS, it still wouldn't be a high enough refresh rate for you to tell the difference. So let's continue on and let's start with a fan favorite, which is CSGO or Counter-Strike Go. So first things first, let's jump into the settings of CSGO and we'll take a look at what I've set up. So as you can see here, I have the aspect ratio on 16 by 10. I've got the resolution at 1920 by 1200. Now that is obviously a lower resolution. This Mac can push more pixels than that, but I wanted to use 1080p essentially for this test, so that's why I've selected that. Now, everything else is turned down to very low or off. And the reason for that is, guys, CSGO isn't really a resource intensive game. It's very easy to play at high FPS, but because this is obviously a brand new operating system, Monterey was only released about four hours ago. It's a brand new Mac, and not only that, it's a completely brand new chip or processor inside this. And on top of all that, it's macOS, which is generally not very good for games, especially CSGO. So all of that being said, that's why I've cranked all these settings down to the lowest, just to try and ensure we hit as many frames per second as we possibly can. I will also have the FPS counter up in the corner here. I'll make sure to magnify that so you can see it at all times. So without further ado, Let's jump back and let's start up a game with some bots on everyone's favorite map, Dust. Okay, so let's select a side. Let me try and get the AK. So I'm going to go on the terrorist team. So as you guys will see right off the bat, we're hitting around 80 FPS. If I go around the side here, away from those bots, that's probably going to increase to around 100. There we go, We've just hit about 110. And you guys probably can't see this again because it's not in 120 hertz uh, frame rate, but it is super, super smooth. It is 100% playing at a 100 hertz refresh rate. It's very, very smooth. If we get into some action here, try and get some headshots. And you guys will notice there's no screen tearing or anything like that either. Uh, it's actually super, super enjoyable to play. Uh, which is something I never would have expected for a MacBook, gaming on a MacBook in 120 hertz. It truly is the 21st century, isn't it, guys? Okay, try and get that headshot, there we go. So again, still no screen tearing, very, very smooth. If you guys have ever played on a 144 or 165 hertz gaming monitor, which is what I typically play on, I, I can't really notice the difference, it is that good. Uh, okay, so now we're getting a very, very impressive 140 FPS in this little inside area. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see this in the video. Maybe I'll try and zoom in so you can see it. But even though we're not playing at the native resolution of this Mac, we're playing at 1080p, the quality is actually super, super good. I can't really see any uh, blurred pixels or blurriness or anything like that. But let me see if I can just rush this so let me see if i can just rush this spawn all right now this time around let's see if we can get the orp and we'll see if we can do a little bit of sniping here because typically with games like this when you zoom in you sort of get a little bit of a dip 
in terms of FPS. Moving on to the best game ever made. Yes, even better than Minesweeper. We have some Fortnite gameplay. Now, before we get into the actual gameplay, let's just come over here and check out the settings. So just like CSGO, I'm trying to set everything to as low as possible. I have run into some issues with the resolution in Fortnite specifically on this 16 inch MacBook. This is the max resolution I can get, 1728 by 1117. It's very weird. You'll see if I go windowed full screen, uh, it's kind of blocked out. Full screen mode is also blocked out as well. Uh, this is the most stable I can get it. You can see I also have the frame rate to 120 FPS. And then everything else down here, uh, I've got basically set to off or low. You can see the 3D resolution is at 100% as well. So as we can see here, we are in the battle bus and we are getting a pretty consistent 60 to 70 FPS now. If you guys have ever played Fortnite before, I am ashamed to admit I have played it for about two or three hours in total. Typically when you jump out of the battle bus, you don't really get awesome FPS. But as you guys can see there, we are hitting a very, very solid 120 FPS. Moving around, it definitely feels like it. It actually feels even better than CSGO uh, because we're, we're consistently maxing out that 120 uh, FPS max. Uh, as you can see here, we're getting, again, a very, very solid and consistent 100 and 20 FPS. Now, again, guys, the, all the settings here are at the lowest they can possibly be. I don't care about graphical quality. All I wanna see is if this is going to run at 120 Hertz and if it's going to be enjoyable. And at the moment, it definitely is. It is very enjoyable to play. Okay, so let's go over here and see if we can get some PVP, see if we can get ourselves a kill. There we go, there's one. Got a guy behind me. And he got me. Okay, that sucks. Okay guys, so safe to say that was a very, very impressive first taste of 120 Hertz gaming on the new M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBooks. Again, guys, this is a 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro, just the base model with a 16 core GPU. And as you guys have seen, even though this game is completely not optimized at all, and is probably still running on Rosetta 2, I'm able to squeeze 120 FPS out of it. And not only that, but get the screen to refresh at 120 Hertz per second, which is insane. So it really goes to show just how much potential there is for these MacBooks in the future. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you in the next one.